Hey guys, today's topic is water testing and why you absolutely must do it. And we're going to start off by introducing you to our line of Fluval water test kits. We've launched a, or are going to launch a new line of test kits. There are more to follow in the near future. And uh, just a quick note on our Fluval Flex Tanks. We set up a couple of beauties for you here. You might have seen this one before. It's starting to grow in quite a bit. We set up another one seems to be a really popular hit with you guys so we figured we'd include them on this video now when it comes to water testing uh it's probably the thing that uh you know most people should do and they don't and it's something that's really important because in reality there is no real other way to understand what's going on in your tank in your aquarium with your water before you see the actual symptoms take place. And symptoms, by symptoms I mean fish loss, algae, all kinds of other issues that take place. So in, in other words, getting into the habit of using a water test kit is super important, do it on a regular basis. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You know what guys, I can hear it now. I can hear the question I'm gonna be reading in some of the posts below. You know what, I've always looked after my tank never tested my water and everything's been fine. Well, let me put this to you this way. A lot of you have pools, you test the water all the time. And that's simply because you wanna make sure water conditions are right for when you go swimming. Well, when it comes to looking after a living thing, don't you think it's equally important, if not more important, to make sure water quality is top notch? It certainly is. And so to that end, we have a full line, or like I said, an introductory line of test kits. Now starting with ammonia, it's the most lethal one, so it's a good place to start. This is actually a nitrogen compound known as ammonia. There's two different forms, NH3 and NH4. NH3 is the unionized gaseous form, really toxic to your fish, and it's related to pH, which can explain you a bit later. Higher the pH, greater percentage of the toxic form. This will spell very quick death for your fish. There's very little time to react and definitely monitoring ammonia is key in setting up a new tank if you add more fish once you've uh, finished medicating a tank for example. Things that disrupt the cycle you want to have an ammonia test kit. Nitrite is the next phase so that's NO2 also a nitrogen compound it's converted by nitrifying bacteria into nitrite. It's also very damaging to fish as it exists in water. Now nitrite will actually damage the hemoglobin in a fish's blood prevent preventing it from carrying oxygen. It is lethal. So another uh, test where you want to be reading a zero. Any nitrate is in fact not good needs to be dealt with and then you have nitrate which is the least harmful of this trio of three here because that's the by uh, end byproduct this is controlled by water changes plants will reduce it somewhat and basically good aquarium maintenance of your filter and making sure you do uh, you know regularly remove organics out of your aquarium to keep nitrates in check and of course be aware of what's coming in, in your tap water that's very important too nitrate can be a problem there too phosphate is another uh, compound which is potentially damaging to an aquarium it's directly related to algae growth and it's a result of organic things that decompose in your tank that have phosphates in them. For example, one of the biggest contributors would be driftwood. In many aquariums that have a lot of driftwood decor, you'll notice phosphate levels are higher. You'll need to do accelerate water changes. There are resins to pull it out of like Fosclear. Very important to keep phosphate in check. Something you really should be testing for. Guys that live in an agricultural area, you have that in your tap water, you got even more work. And then last but not least is our pH test kit. Now pH is very important for specific types of fish. They generally have a range, as we all know, African cichlids like higher pH or alkaline values, and tetras and South American cichlids generally do better in slightly acidic, softer water. So you want to give the conditions to your fish that they prefer, which is important for their health and well-being. A couple of quick points I wanted to mention is that the line is available or is good for fresh and saltwater aquariums and the fact that the series is available in a master kit format which is composed of ammonia, nitrite, nitrate and pH test kits in one convenient box. Now let's have a look at the box architecture. If you notice right here they're color coded, it lists the compound and, and also gives you the word for example in this case nitrite, shows you the range or the concentration the kit can, uh, can measure between 0 to 3.3 milligrams per liter in this case and of course how many tests are included 
in the box. So now that we've done that, let's go through a quick test and show you just how convenient it is to use. You'll also notice that the leaflet is right in the front face of the test kit and that it of course comes on a convenient little labyrinth base. So let's just unpack this guy, take that off. And now we're going to get a sample of water and we're going to fill the test file up to this little line right over there. Let's reach in here, fill that up, and there we go. So different tests have different orders of using reagents and how much time you have to wait and so forth. It's always important when there's more than one reagent, like in this case, to shake them well, both of them. And in this case, it calls for five drops of each of the two reagents. So we're going to put in five drops of number one. And we're also going to put in five drops of reagent number two. Let me give that a good shake. And add it to the test file. So there we go. Now in this case, you got to wait two minutes for the test results. Now the two minutes have elapsed, let's have a look at the test results. Now, we can see that the vial is perfectly clear, and that means, of course, that there's absolutely zero concentration of nitrite in here. The way to read the actual test is to make sure you have a natural daylight source coming at the vial from behind your shoulder in reality. You would put this up against the vial uh, outline over here, and then compare it to the color chart off to the right. In this case, uh, it would be a very, very slight move was 0.1, but it's totally transparent, so safe to go. It's zero. Nitrite is a toxic nitrogen compound. You never want to be reading that in your aquarium. Zero is the reading that you're really looking for. So that's it, guys. Any questions, don't forget to hit us up at fluvalaquatics.com. Really appreciate you watching, and don't forget to subscribe below.